So, here we are in Ayutuk National Park on our third day of walking through the Akshayak Pass. We've just climbed to the top of this massive pile of rocks and that's meant that we have an amazing view of the valley that we've just walked down. If you look behind me, you can see this beautiful U-shaped valley here, which was all carved out by the glacier. I mean, that U-shape is very, very distinctive of a glacier coming through this valley. And if you just think about the enormous power that that glacier must have had to carve through the mountainside. During the last ice age, the glacier here was probably about four kilometers thick, which is enormous. If you look in the bottom of the valley as well, we've got lots of little rivers meandering in between each other with bits, piles of gravel in between them. These are called braided streams and running off of the glacier, the meltwater likes to run like this down the valley as it's nice and flat and in times of high meltwater, they'll spread over that gravel as well. <coughs> Sorry. A glacier, as it's ice, isn't, doesn't have as much erosional power as a river does. Yet because it's so huge, it can carry massive, massive boulders, like the one I'm sitting on, and even like these big ones behind me. Some can be as big as houses, which we've walked past in the past few days. Very distinctive of a glacial erosion are these nice, sharp edges. As, the, as I said, the glacier is not eroding them and not rounding them, it's just plucking them out of the mountainside and carrying it down the valley with it. Further down the valley, pretty much when we landed here three days ago, we found this nice pebble, if you can see that there nicely. It's really rounded, which if you remember, that's very distinctive of river erosion because the water can rub away at the sides there and make a nice round pebble. So, as I said, we're on a massive pile of rocks at the moment. How on earth did this big pile of rocks get here in the middle of a valley? So, Glacier likes to carry lots of these angular blocks of rock and at the sides of a glacier, it's going to be travelling slightly slower because there's a lot more friction there. So it might drop some of these rocks. Because it's carrying so many of different sizes, it's not like a river, it doesn't decide which to drop first, it just drops whichever is there. And at the side of the valley, you get these moraines, called lateral moraines. At, when two glaciers meet, their two lateral moraines come together and for, form a medial moraine. And then at the furthest point forward that a glacier has gone, you get the terminal moraine. This big pile that we're on is part of a huge moraine field where three glaciers have met to then travel down this valley behind me. So it's probably a mixture of medial and lateral moraine that we're currently sitting on. So it's just amazing that you can come somewhere like this and see all of these different landforms in one place. And it's so beautiful as well.